everyone, welcome back to the Organized Notebook. Today we wanted to discuss one of our favorite topics relating to Notion, icons. We'll be going over some tips and tricks that will help your page come to life including where to find icons, various icon options, and finally, how to make your own. Stand till the end to learn how to download our custom made icons. First, let's go over all of your included Notion icon options. Since the new update with Notion special icon set, there is even more customizability even with the included icons. Let's click an open icon slot to get started. The first option is emojis. These can add a colorful and fun look to your pages. The second option are Notion's own icon set. These are designed with Notion's design aesthetic in mind, so it's easy to coordinate and find icons that work for you. They also can be customized with different color options that match with Notion's text colors. We find that these Notion icons can be great for a minimalist look and if you want to coordinate the colors within Notion pages. The third option is custom. You can either paste in a link for an icon or upload the icon's image file. We'll go over more about custom icons later on in this video. The next thing we wanted to point out are some unique places to add icons. The icon on the top of the page is the most obvious place for icons, but there are actually some hidden places to add them. You can add icons to database titles by adding them as an icon in the main database page. Type slash database to make a database. Then go to the databases page and add an icon. Everywhere you add this database will now show the icon in the title. Next, you can add them inside each entry of a database. This can be done by adding the icon in the individual pages of each database. Click open to make a new page inside the database. Add an icon. Now you can see this in the database's entry. If you want to take this a step further, you can add the icon as a pre-built template for database entries. Click plus new template next to new in the database. Set it as a default template. Now every new page you add will have the same icon. Another fun place to add icons is inside callout boxes. Type slash callout to get a callout box. You can click inside it to find the icon slot. The next thing we want to share is about custom icons. We have some unique resources for finding them, which will also provide the link in the description below. One of our favorite places is called flaticon.com. You can easily find icons by typing a keyword, but be aware that not all icons are free to use, so make sure to read the license. All you need to do is right-click the icon image and save the address to the image. Then go to your Notion page and add it under custom icon. You could also download the image to upload if you wish. Another great resource is notionicons.so. This website has some amazing customization options and you can simply click on them to copy the link. Just add them as a link under custom icon. We also like notion.bip for custom icons because of the ability to toggle for dark mode. These icons are sourced from sites like flat icon, but it's still nice to see a full list of curated icons. Just click on the icon to copy the link and paste it as a custom icon. Let's go over a really useful new Chrome extension that can save custom icons. We'll leave the link to Iconic below. Once you download this in your Chrome browser, you can save icons by adding them as a link in your Notion pages. Note that custom icons are only saved when inserted as links and not when uploading them. This also only works in the browser and will not work when opening Notion outside Chrome. If you feel like none of the icons you find online fit your style, try and make your own. If you already use a graphic design software, you could simply make one with an invisible background. Just make sure that the size is 280 by 280 pixels, then upload the icon as a file. If you're not as versed in graphic design, we highly recommend using Canva to make custom icons. We'll leave the link below. First, make sure you have a Canva account. Click create a design, then go to custom size and enter 280 by 280 pixels. You can make your first icon by going to elements. 
Let's try making a light bulb icon. Make sure to place in the middle and select the color if it is customizable. Feel free to get creative by combining multiple elements and colors. Now all you need to do is download the icon. If you have a Canva Pro account, you can easily remove the background. Otherwise, the icon will have a white color background. Now simply upload this icon to your page to use it. If you don't have Canva Pro, you can use a background removing website like remove.bg. We'll leave this link in the description as well. Now let's see how the icon turned out. We also have 10 free custom made icons that we have available for download. We'll leave a link to it from Gumroad. Once you download it, all you need to do is to upload them as files. Here's a quick preview of all the icons. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed learning about all the things you can do with icons in Notion. Let us know if you have any questions or comments below. Subscribe us for more productivity and organization related videos. See you in the next one.